Yes, God will help you in Jesus' name. You know, this is the heart of God. And the way you love God, that's how you give the heart. It, it's in, in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, I welcome you this morning, this, pray, this time, this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you. I commit your people into your hand, God. I bless your name. I pray for each and everyone that have joined us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shock this periscope in the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus over periscope and each and everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I throw a wall of fire around me with the blood of Jesus. I, I soak this prayer once again with the blood of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. I praise you. I give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I'm using the blood of Jesus because you know there are wicked people who are against the gospel, who are against us, against the periscope, against preachers, against this message. So their work is to mark and chant and put spells. And, and while you are praying, they are trying to lock your voice. They are chanting, they are cursing you. That's why I bleed the blood of Jesus. When I bleed the blood of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I throw a wall of fire. They are doing zero work. Wherever they are chanting, they are sparing, they are putting any curse, it will backfire. It, it bounces back to them. That's what the blood of Jesus do. And, and that's why I always breathe the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is powerful. It is a weapon. It is a, a more than nuclear. It is so strong that no demon from the pit would penetrate and, and, and violate to come and attack you when you bleed the blood of Jesus. I want to thank you. Thank you once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Canada, Brampton. Welcome once again. Yes, thank you. Yes, if you don't understand what I'm talking, just listen or get out of the periscope. Get out of this prayer. You are, you are not supposed to be here because it seems you are an enemy. I'm talk if you don't hear me you don't hear I'm talking English if you don't listen to me you don't hear me just get away from periscope that's that's fine let those who are want to come to join the follow where two or three are gathered in the midst is there you know heaven is a narrow road the the the, the devil the road of the devil is wild is big so people want to follow the devil, they will follow them. Those who want to follow the, 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 the God, they, they will follow God. I'm not forcing anybody to follow me. If you know you are a child of that devil, you, you don't like these prayers, get out of this periscope. Get out of my scope. Get out and go. There's no point joining and, and asking questions, and, and yet you are not invited. Just get away. Get away in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thank Jesus because he said that they will be two or three in the midst. Yes. Now, thank you. We are more than three. So those who will follow us, follow me, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Today I'm going to talk to you the subject called Get Away and Clean Thing. Get away and clean thing. Get away and clean thing. And this, we are, um, and we are going to look the, the, in the scripture from the book of Psalms one, one to three, the book of Psalms one, one to three, the book of Psalms chapter one, one to three. The Bible says, "Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat." Of mockers, there are some some unclean demon. There is an, an evil demon that enter into the people's heart, and then they will start mocking. They are called mockers. Get away from that demon called mocker, mocker. The demon of gospel. Get it away. That is unclean thing. Get away. Any unclean thing in your in your life, so that God can bless you. 
The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not work in the counselor of the wicked. Counselor of the wicked. There are some wicked. You sit together, you start talking, you gossip, you start talking evil against the righteous. You start talking, the Bible says, you cannot be blessed. Get away that unclean thing. Get away. You know, the word I'm calling a thing, it is because they are not they are a thing. There are things that is not pros uh, would make you to prosper. There are things that is dead. Those are the things, dead things, because they cannot help you. You need a live thing which will bless you, which will prosper you according to the word of God. When the word of God says, "Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counselor of the wicked." Blessed is a man who does not walk in the way in the counselor of the wicked or stand in the way of the sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. You know, some people they are they are, they are cast, they have a thing operating in their life. Now, the moment they sit down, they are a Christian, they don't talk anything about God, they only talk evil, gossiping people. They, they will mock the people. They are the mockers. They have words to mock and talk evil. I always get tired. When I hear people like that, I get really tired. I start yawning. I feel like I want to get off. I want to go. You can be with the people in the bus, in the car, in, in, even in, in, the, in the restaurant, wherever you are, all in the, in the, in the family meeting, wherever, all, anywhere. People, they are not talking anything glorifying God. They are talking evil and bad stuff. They are not, if you listen, no one is talking anything good, saying about how God is good, or asking the scripture, or saying, do you remember what the word of God says today, or the preacher, what is, he teaches, or said? You never hear this, but you will hear their personal stuff. You hear the, the way they gossip. You will hear the way they talk bad of others. They will start addressing one from the head to the toe. They will talk so much. They will mock people, the people of God. They will mock people of the world. They, they talk so much, which is an unclean thing operating in their life. Get away from that thing. The Bible continues saying, but is delight in is the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditated day and night. He is like a tree planted by the stream of water, which yields in, in its fruits in a season, and whose leaves does not weather. Whatever, what, whatever he does prospers. He does prosper. Now, when you get that thing away, when you get that thing which makes you to mock people, to sit on the evil counselors, to start talking things which not prosper you. Think at the end, you might end up bitterness, you might end up feeling bad, you, because you have invited demons, you are so exhausted. The way you open yourself, gossiping, talking evil, uh, sitting with the mockery, people are talking, mocking, mocking, loving, chanting, and... Uh, they, are, they, they watch people, immediately they start talking and gossip. All this, they, by the time you go to sleep, you exhaust yourself. You have no time even to pray. You will only start praying and yawning, yawning, you go to sleep. Because you have tired, you have exhausted, your, you have exhausted, exhausted, exhausted yourself. So, the Bible says, Stop, get those things away. Get them bleed away. Get, lead, get all those stuff away from you. Unclean things. These are unclean things which the Bible does not want you to have. But if you follow the rules and the rules according to uh, Psalms 1, Psalms 1, 1 to 3, the, 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 you will be blessed. Because you will build your, your, your heart, your spirit, your inner man will be built and you will feel better. Because something you are planting is coming in alive and in, in your spirit. But the moment you, you, exhaust your, you exhaust yourself, energy, talking, gossiping, loving, things which is not glorifying God, be careful what it is. I'm telling you the truth. 
So many people, that's why they get sickness and diseases. At the end of the conversation, they feel tired. They have no time to pray. Even when, even, even food to say the grace, you can't have time. Because your mind is overrated with the gossiping, with talking, loving, uh, mocking people, talking things which is not, it's not there. People of God, heaven is a narrow road. And those are things which will make some people to miss the heaven. If you spend a lot of time talking your personal stuff, talking your, I, 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 I got someone, people calls me, and they will talk, talk, talk about themselves. They don't give you a chance even to say anything. Now, you reason, you reason, you say, have you finished? Because now, it's just repeating the same thing, repeating, 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 and you know, forget the past. Let us focus the new thing. Holy is gone, new has come. Yes, it is, these things has happened. You can't dwell there. You can't stay there forever. You have to move on with your life. God will help you in Jesus' name. Let's look in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 30, verse 21 to 23. The Bible says, Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. You know, God is always speaking to you. You you but you because you don't have time to listen. Everyone God has has been talking to you. God talks to you. Uh, God has been teaching me every three o'clock, whether I like it or not, I will hear his voice. He will wake me up. Even if I try what I will have, I will be happy. I go to sleep, I, I sleep a few hours. I don't sleep a lot of hours. Now, even I, when I, I know, and if I repair or I, I, I can't wake up because I'm tired, I, 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 I'll regret later, later hours. So, always your ears shall hear a word because you need to give yourself permission to hear the word of God. But the more you overload yourself with so much stuff, so the word of God, you can't get, there's no room for, or even if God talks, you can't hear. You can't hear. You only guess, or you, you, are, you, you, you feel, you, you, it's yourself. It's yourself who is talking. It's your head telling you. Or sometimes, uh, uh, because you have talked so much, you hear another voice. It's not from God. So, but the Bible says, you, you are here, shall hear, a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Wherever you turn to the right hand or wherever you turn to the left, you will always divide, defy the covering of your ima image, image of silver and the on on anointment of your modern, moldy, moldy image of gold. You will throw them away as unclean thing. You will say, to, 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 you will say to them, get away. You know, there are these modern, 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 modern image, image of gold, modern image of gold. These are the things that the people, they wear, which cannot help them. The people, they have image, they have things that, that they worship. They have things, special things they keep. And these things, it does not going to help them. That, those are the, the unclean things that you need to get them away from your life. You get them anything which is unclean. Some people, they have things that they worship. Idols, they keep in the house. That will not help them. They invite the demon instead. Especially when you see the modern, modern image of gold. People like gold stuff. I, even myself, I like gold stuff. But there are these stuff which are not clean. They are unclean things which would invite the demons. You can have gold. I thank God because God is said that you will hear the voice that will tell you turn this way. That gold you are hearing, you are you are where you are wearing, you are having the rings that that everything that you are wearing is it glorifying God? Is it a, a godly? I'm not refusing that you can't wear gold or whatever. There are some them which are demonic and bro, and dedicated to the demons. Do, when you wear them, you are, your problem will be You will face a lot of problems than before. 
something one of my pastor he was giving a testimony he, uh, there was a woman her child her son was sick and then the, this child was seriously sick and he was admitted in hospital sick to death now this child was brought to the meeting and then the pastor started praying for that the, the child and, and, and then the Holy Spirit told the pastor, stop praying, ask the mother, what does that, that the boy is wearing in the neck? The mother said, this kid thing which is wearing, it is a thing protecting him, and it was put since he was born. And then he said that, now I want you to remove it, and if this child will die or something will happen to the child, I will be responsible. The mother was so afraid, he said, no, the moment we remove this thing, the child will die. But the, the pastor told the, the, the woman, already this child is dying. So what is the point? This child is dying. You see the doctor, they can't treat it. They don't find any problem. Look at this child. Whether you, you remove this thing, you don't remove, the child is dying. You remove. Then the woman remove the, 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 that thing they were putting in, inside, in the neck. And then the pastor cut it and opened inside. When they opened the thing, inside it was called, I love Satan. The thing was called it, that I love Satan. The thing that it, that the, the child was wearing since since he was born, since he was born. Now it was it was gold, but inside it there was there were lighting which says uh, I love Satan. Now you love Satan, you wear a gold which has been dedicated to the Satan and say I love Satan. So when you are, you pray God, you pray more prayers. It cannot, you can't, God cannot hear you. And you can't hear God. That's why you need to get rid of those images, those some evil, that those idols that you have. You have to get rid of them. If you are facing some difficult, some problem, that no one, that, that no prayers can, can help you. No pastors, no, the prayers that not, God has not answered you, or your prayers has not been answered Try to remove your rings from your finger. Try to remove some of your necks. Try to remove some of the stuff and put them away and watch and see if they are the ones inviting the demons and inviting the evil. Because you have to get rid of those stuff. You have to throw them according to the Bible. Then you will hear the word of God clearly in Jesus' name. Now, let's look in the book of uh, Nehemiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 10, verse 23 to 25. The Bible says, the book of Jeremiah 10, 23 to 25, the Bible says, O oh Lord, I know the way of a man is not himself. You know, the, the sometimes God knows you. It's not you, yourself. It is some power that has, is operating on you. The Bible says, it is not in a man who walks to direct his own steps. O oh Lord, correct me, but with justice, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Now here, the man of God, he said, it is better God correct you in justice. If I correct you, if I correct you, you will be angry with me and become bitter because people, they don't want the truth. If I start telling you the truth, you won't talk to me, you will hate me. That's what happened. Somebody tells you the truth on your face. You wouldn't like the person. You would hate that person. That's why the pastors, they, they have hard time to preach righteousness. That's why pastors, they can't talk any, anything. They only they talk about prosperity. They only talk about prosperity, 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 and that's all. People, they do immorality. They do whatever they want to do. They don't. They go, the pastors, some pastors, they don't want to talk about it because they don't want to offend anybody. People, they can be offended easily. One time, I collected one of them, my brother, he was my evangelist. I saw something which was not right. And then I told him that you need this and this. That man was offended and he gave up. He, he, he left the church and went away. Yeah, because I was collecting, I told him the truth and that's exactly what was happening to him. Because he, did, he didn't want to hear that. And then he got offended and he got very angry with me. He really get angry with me. He get very angry with me. He said, why did you say like that? I said, I, I said, because I was told to tell you. And then if you cannot accept, then let God himself charge you. And let his judgment fall upon you. And then you will see by yourself. That is all. But here, God is God, God of justice. 
He is a God who corrects you. And if you are waiting God to correct you, it will be very pain. It is very painful. You have to wait. You have to, you have really to obey him and, and follow his direction. Some people are corrected by God with the weeping, with the pain, with the sickness, with the terrible, terrible, terrible punishment until you come to your senses. I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. When you say, oh Lord, correct me, but with justice, not in your anger, lest you bring me to nothing. Now, when God corrects you or speaks to you, he speaks to you, his voice, good, his, his soft voice. Then if, because you are overrated, you don't hear, it goes, it goes like that. Now, you, you say, God, reveal to me this. You pray, oh God, you fire the prayer. Sometimes you fire God. And it is God is telling you, hello, stop what you are doing. Don't go there. Stop that group. Stop the, the way you are behaving. I don't like that. But you say, ah, my husband is telling me, I don't want to talk to this, this and this. You know, God can use anything, can use anything to stop you or to talk to you. Now, you, you, you feel like ah, you start gossiping him, you start to become bitter. And it is God. You listen the voice of God and God will help you. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, Pour out your failures on the Gentile who do not know you and on the families who do not call on your name. For they have eaten up Jacob, devouring him and consuming him and made his dwelling place desolate. So, you know, uh, the evil people, when they sit, when they started gossiping and talking wicked and evil, they are bad people that, as, as, the, as the Bible says, they have consumed Jacob. You know, they attacked Jacob with the children of Jacob and even Jacob himself. His children was, were being uh, attacked so hard. They almost consumed, they, they almost con consumed. But because Jacob is a man of God and is the God of Jacob, he understood how he could listen to God and come to God. And that's how God was delivered him. Now, you see, there are some powers that can consume your family completely. Then you wonder, what has gone wrong? What did I do wrong? All my family, my children, everybody is not doing, is, nothing is working for them. Because somebody has been inviting the demons and killing the things that has come to consume your family. Therefore, people of God, get away and clean things get them away they can't stay they will get away and leave you in jesus name the bible says in the book of uh, psalms 30, 32 verse 8 the bible says i will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go i will guide you with my my eyes so god is able to teach you to instruct you the way you go is able to do that when you have that good relationship with God when you get away and clean thing when you get away and clean the thing then you will give God permission to teach you Lord to guide you and show you the way you should walk that is how it is the, you can see this the, the scripture says I will instruct you God will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will guide you with my eye God will guide you with his eyes. When you are confused, you are confused, you don't know what you are doing, something is not right. That's why you need to ask God on his presence. You humble yourself. You get rid of every unclean thing. Then he will guide you. He will show you the way. The message, this message I was given, I know for sure it is one to deliver people because I did had this message i prepared i prepared i asked god what do you want me to do he repeated to me i tried to bring something else he he returned me back he said teach this today you will be teaching that's why i'm, I'm teaching you and i'm talking to you i believe with with my whole heart i believe god is going to touch some of you you need to hear from god you need god to guide you you need god to give you the, the instruction you are in a, a dangerous relationship. You are in a dangerous, a dangerous relationship. You are in the in the uh, 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 workplace where you don't belong. 
you are you are doing something which is which is going to destroy your life sit down pray to god repent and get away and clean the things anything that is unclean ask god to forgive you any sin any unclean thing you have forgive everyone and now pray this scripture ask god god i want you to instruct me to teach me show me the way guide me god god help me if you are a con you are a state of conviction maybe you apply the devil job and then you are called so many so many jobs you don't know which one you are taking god will show you which one to follow if you have, you have a boyfriend you, you you have been asking god to give you a husband now god has bring 10 boyfriends and now you are confused something is not right something is not right god is not working like that you have to ask him that god give me the right one let me pick the right one because how can god give you 10 10 10, 10 men or 10 women it that's not god god is god is a perfect god he will teach you and show you the way business you you you, are, you want to start a business now your mind has come so many business a check or a threat of so many a check or check of dread of how do you say a check of dread but must of none you 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 are everywhere when you hear this you are there when you hear you can't master any that is not god the enemy he wants confusion he wants confuse you so you can't get anywhere ask god to give you the direct to guide you and teach you that the business that you are looking you want to do what your direction where do you want to go like you want to go even vocation for a whole day now you have so many places you can't decide which one ask god to teach you that's you know that's how the devil is that's why the enemy bring confusion then you choose the wrong one we see the examples Herod and abram when abram were, were, were prayed and said let let us go to our everyone go to your ways Herod chose a wrong place and then because of the prayer of abram and the righteous he could have died in sodom and Gomorrah. But because of the, the God is a massive God, he rescued him and his, his daughters. But the wife was not, well, he, he could not take it. The wife was saying, what? I'm not living here. This is a good place. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. And then because he didn't want to come out, he didn't want to get out and clean thing. He died there. He became a salt. He, he, he died. She died. That's how it is. So, when God is wants to help you, you will hear His voice. He will guide you using anything to, to to deliver you. But when you refuse, then you will suffer. You start saying, "I prayed, I did this," but you didn't hear the the voice of God. Huh. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah forty eight verse seventeen. The Bible says, "Thus says the Lord." You are the demon, the holy one of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. God has redeemed you. Jesus has redeemed us. And Jesus is the one who will help you. God will teach you profit, profit, who leads you to the way you should go. He is the one to lead you the way you should go. Yes, he is our God. He is able to lead you because he loves you. He has redeemed you. He has redeemed you from sin, from death, from dangerous. Now he will lead you and, and, let, and show you the way you will go. Now the Bible says in the book of Joshua 1.8, the Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be carefully to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have successful that's how it is if you want to hear god if you want to get unclean things away meditate upon the, the word of god let the word of god not depart from your mouth if the word of God is in your mouth, you can't have time to, of gossip, time of, of mockery, time of talking, 
things which not glorifying God. If you, if the word of God, the word, the Lord, the word of God is on your mouth throughout. You don't have honestly. You don't have any anything to talk about people. You can't sit in the seats of the counselors, evil counselors, gossiping and talking, talking, and talking padded stuff. You don't have such a time. Because you, you all your you have, you have, your mind, everything is in is the word of God. Everything is in the word of God. The Bible says, this book of the law should not depart from your mouth. If this book you depart from the mouth, and then the demon will, will welcome you and you will start talking their stuff. But if the, this, this, the, the, this book is on your mouth, everything all the time you talk. Me, I don't know. I don't have a language. I can sit with, with you to talk about talking the word of God, things of God, and how God is good and the deliverance. I was always talking. When I was working, any time I talk with people, I was talking about God. I said the Bible says this, this. Now, one time the manager was asking me, Christine, you mean you that you can't talk anything about the Bible or about God? I said, what? What can I say now? What can I talk? That's the only language I know. I don't know anything else. Yeah? And then another problem you can have, and an and, and, and Christian, a and believer, and you, you are a, a believer, especially this prayer of deliverance and healing. Now, when you share with people who does, does not understand, they will hate you. They won't accept you because their church does not teach this. Now, you, you look at the people you share with. Remember, don't be yoked with an unbeliever. When you preach to the believer, you preach about salvation. When they get saved, then you open up about the deliverance. If you just uh, uh, attack the unbeliever without telling the believer to understand deliverance, then the, the believer will hate you, and believer will hate you, and, you can't, and, you, and he, will not he doesn't want to hear what you are saying. But if you are, you, are, you are with an unbeliever, you tell how Jesus is good and how he loved, and God loves the world. He wants to hear things that would lead him or her to salvation. Then you can introduce this later as you continue your, your conversation. But if you, you start with the high, then you can't get the person. If the person would become against you and, you, and bitterness and it would send you away. So you must be careful. The Bible says, that people of God, we, we must be in meditate the, 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 the word of God all through throughout. The, this Bible, it has so much, a lot of stuff you can discuss. And even without readings, you can tell some people a story in the Bible. And you can say something. Yeah, even unbeliever. You don't have to confront the unbeliever. Somebody who is already in, in sin, you just confront the person, you condemn the person. You, you have to be careful because some people they don't want to hear but you 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 want to talk nice glorifying god T saying the things don't let an believer to 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 back to make you backslider or to make your god to be retro hallelujah praise be the name of jesus now this is the key point where many people they lose their direction i'm telling you this word, the, the word of God is life, and it is true, it works. People who gossip, who talk a lot, they talk, talk, talk. They don't have room to meditate upon the word of God. They don't have room even to let God to talk to them. Because their room is full of nasty, full of evil words. They exhaust themselves. If you sit with the people two hours, their work is talking, talking. I get troubles, sometimes I get very... I felt bad. I, I can't even, I, I, I started suffocating myself. I feel like I'm not breathing properly. When I, I am sitting with people who gossip, who talk, so, talks this and this, and they, they, they bring things which is not there. I, I don't, I don't, I, I will not stay, sit in a place like that. One day, we went to, a, to the barbecue, and I prompted them somewhere there. And those people, they started talking about slave trade, how African did it, and, and they, they, they were just like mocking me seriously. Now, and uh, I, I was listening, then I, I felt like I, I, I went out to, to see the, the compound. And then after that, I told them I have to leave now because I'm not, uh, I, I can't fit here. I can't stay. Yeah? 
the, you, the, way the, the talk was going on, it is, was mocking me direct. Now, they continue talking, talking and then they, they don't know history of slave trade. Even us, we are not happy what the slave trade did to us. Yeah? If, if, a, if your woman was come, was those people would come and take your child, you didn't sell them. All they come and take their child by force. And, and because of poverty, even now, people are adopting children. Some, they, some parents, they give their children because they need their children to be, go, to be taken care, get better life. They, they are poor, they can't take care of their child. They give a child away. So when they give this child, it's not that they, they hate you or, or they are selling you. It's because they want your life to be better. Now people are changing and talking evil, talking that we, we were the ones selling them. They feel bitter and what have you. Sorry, we need to forgive each other. Meditate upon the word of God and God will help you in Jesus' name. Those things, and it's not us. It's, it is years, generation upon generation. So now you break that demon that because you make it to become a life. And it will attack you, it will affect your children, children. That's why we have racism. That's why we have these things cannot be end. As a child of God, as a, as a Christian, you don't need to, to talk to them. That's why Paul and Peter, when they went to preach in the Gentile, they were told there is no Gentile. They be, as long as we are being born again, we have been adopted as children of God. We are no more Gentile. God has delivered us. So we are equal to the eyes of God. Therefore, people of God, don't sit down, forgetting, meditating upon God, talking things which cannot help you. Now, if you want prosperity, you want to succeed, meditate upon the, the word of God. Change your attitude, change your behavior, change your thoughts. Change them and God will help you in Jesus' name. Get rid of and clean the things. Talk something that will help you. And, and, you know, people can talk about football hours and hours. That's fine. They talk about the football and they know the prayer, everyone. They, as if they, they are the ones who are, who are praying. That's fine. Everything has time. But remember, after that, you have been putting the football, your head, everything in your head, in your head. When you go to sleep, you say, God help us in Jesus' name. You don't have time because you have strained your energy so much. After that, what do you do? Take your time, ask the Holy Spirit to wash you, go back to the scripture, start meditating, get those food for, those um, soccer, the, the games, let them get out of your mind and start afresh and ask the, the Holy Spirit, as, start meditating upon the name, the, 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 the scripture, the name of God, then God will help you in Jesus' name. You know the devil is very clever, it's very intelligent, it's not, it's not a fool. The devil knows your weakness and then that's how he will get you. It will make sure that you are a prayerless. You are, you, are, you are not strong in prayer. It will take all the prayers. And you cannot able to meditate upon the word of God. So I pray that God will help you in Jesus' name. And let's look at the book of uh, First, uh, First Chronicles 22 verse 12. First Chronicles 22 verse 12, the Bible says, Only may the Lord give you wisdom and understanding and give you church concerning Israel, that you may keep the law of the Lord your God. Then you will prosper if you take care to fulfill the statutes and the judgments with which the Lord charged Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Now here, the Bible is talking that you, that the God, the Lord may give you wisdom. Wisdom and understanding. Wisdom and understanding. Then they say, then, then if you keep the law of your God, you keep the law of your God. You know, here is, is your God. People have their God. The God of Israel. You are God. Which kind of a God do you have? Yesterday I was talking about the God. You are God must the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are God must the God of heaven, not the other God. When the Bible is talking, you are God, which means people, some people, they have other gods. So, so I'm talking the God of heaven. I'm talking the God of the living God. I'm not talking any other gods. The Bible says, then you will prosper. If you take care to fulfill the statutes and judgment with which the Lord charged Moses according to Israel. 
Be strong. Do not be discouraged. Be, dis be strong. Because our God is not a, a fairy. As long as you get lead of unclean things, God will see you through. God will help you. Do not fear. Do not be discouraged. Even the situation you are in right now. If, if, right now you might be facing some difficult, some issues in you. But trust in the Lord. You are God. And know who is your God. Make sure the God you serve is a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of heaven. Make sure the God who answer by fire is the God that you are, uh, you are, you are serving. If you have a different God, you better go back and start seeking him while you will find him. He is waiting for you and you repent every sin. Anything that is taking your God away and giving you a wrong God, let it be paralyzed and destroyed in Jesus' name. Now, yes, I have so much scriptures. So, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. You are wonderful. One of God, I bless your name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. I, I have so many scriptures, but I want to pray for you because I know that God will help you and give you more understanding. Thank you very much. I want to read the last scripture, which um, and then I will pray. I'm going to pray anything that is operating in your life that does not want you to hear the voice of God, that does not want you to remove that, that and, and to get away and clean things shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. The scripture that I'm going to read is from Jeremiah 1, verse 10. The Bible says, See, I have this day set thee over nations and over kingdoms, to do root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw uh, down, to build and to plant. This day, God has given you, has given you over all nations, anything that is unclean, anything to get away, to dismantle, to uproot it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, God has given you power. God has given you authority. God has given you to uproot, to dismantle, and destroy anything, unclean things, anything that is not from God. You have to dismantle. You have to destroy in Jesus' name. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. I take this authority and I take authority and dominion over every principalities and powers ruling of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places in the mighty name of Jesus. I I bring them down. I am rooting them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, I thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. May God, may, may your God set you far above all evil nations, satanic kingdom. Therefore, every kingdom of darkness ruling over your life, I pull you down and I command you to be destroyed in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost, Decamp your, your enemies, confront your confronters, confuse your confusers, waste your wasters, bind your binders in the mighty name of Jesus. Any condition, any power that is confusing you, that's working over your mind, make you to confuse. Let them be bound, let them be destroyed, let them be rendered powerless in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord my Father, I pray that since your, 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 your enemies are stop on pursuits, oh Lord, turn their joy unto sadness, their prosperity to poverty, their glory to shame, their right to darkness, and their peace to fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. This enemy that makes you, you can't see that you are keeping and clean the thing. Let, let them be destroyed. Let the eyes of God open you. Let the, the Holy Ghost fire open your eyes and see every unclean thing that is hindering your prayer. That is that is holding you that you cannot get your breakthrough. Anything that is holding you, may God open your eyes and see in Jesus' name. May you hear the voice of the Lord telling you, turn this way. This is the way you can follow in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that God 
will give you a, a sign of direction that you will fall the right way in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank God. God is a good God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. I give you all the glory, my God. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus that God will help you and clear, clear your ways in Jesus' name. Anything unclean that is operating in your life, affecting your family, affecting you, let them be a clear way. Let them be lended, be lended powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I want to thank you. God, I bless your name. I give all the glory, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I call upon your presence. I commit your people into your hand. I pray, Father, anything that is attacking them, that is affecting their life, that they cannot be able to walk on your ways, that they cannot be able to, 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 to serve you in the right way, God. Father, destroy them. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, wicked people are signed against you, monitoring you, following your steps. Lord, my Father, cripple them, blind them, cut their feet, cut their legs, blind them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, my Father, I want to thank you this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers of darkness covering this person, covering the crowd of the person, let it be lent powerless in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for this person. I see that you are crowd. I see you are heaven. The crowd, dark crowd. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray anyone in the crowd is being covered. Dark crowd of this person. I command that crowd to clear away in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see the smoke. Somebody is the, 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 the crowd of smoke covered the person. I pray that, that smoke, that dark crowd to get out, to clear away in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I want to thank God. I pray that God will help you, will clear your heaven, clear your heaven. Let your heaven open. Let your heaven open in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of God, let it released from heaven and let your heaven open in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. My God and my Father, I want to thank you. I bless your name. Oh, God, you are a good God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I'm back, I'm back to Periscope. I will be on Periscope every day, 9.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30. Every morning, I will be on 9.30, 9, 9, 9 o'clock or 9.30 a.m. Sometimes I will be 9 o'clock or 9.30 a.m. every morning. And we have an evening prayer. Uh, now you can join us on the radio or on the popcorn or a prayer line. If you need prayer line, you can always call me. Our number is 905. Hallelujah. Press be the name of Jesus. 905-792-3798. And God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for following me. And keep on. And you can send me a text message. If you need prayers, I will pray for you.